DocScan HD allows you to take photographs of documents and convert them into documents for sharing elsewhere. I've taken a picture of a document already, a handwritten note. doesn't matter what angle you can take it at because the software actually allows you to orient the text so it's um, nice and aligned to the page. So as you can see here I'm moving these green points around and you move them until you are happy with the configuration and when you've done that, so you can see I'm moving around getting it just right so what we're going to do is squeeze this document around just keep moving a bit more around there we go and we'll use that now once you um, accept this you can see it jumps to um, the format that's made the orientation look nice and you can change the highlight on this, make this black and white and you can simply share your document so I'm going to um, save it as a document and in the pro version you can name it um, we can name it in the, in the free version too what you can't do in the free version is then share it to other applications but you can share it to your photo store and then from there move it elsewhere but what I'm going to show you here is uh, name it and accept that naming. Once you've named your document, it's saved actually in the um, application, um, but you can also export it. So if we click on export here, in the free version it would say to you, you can only do this in Pro, but you can see the different formats you can save to. If you've got an Evernote account, you can sign into your Evernote account and simply upload your document to Evernote. And DocScan HD can also work with um, curved documents. So I've taken a picture of a document that's curved quite badly. So you can see here I've taken a picture now using a different option here. Uh, and you can realign the red, um, or sorry, green dots in this ish, uh, um, document here. Can you see how the lines go across? But you've got these red circles and you can move them around to actually indicate to the program where the curve in the document is going to be. It's a bit of a fiddle. Um, it's not absolutely brilliant um, rocket science stuff, but it's it's pretty good. Um, and so you just keep moving around and fiddling around. Um, and be warned as you move stuff around, you can create extra nodes. So if there's any nodes that you want to remove, you simply click on them. So you can see here I've created a couple now. Um, and so I want to get rid of them. I can click on the X in the left hand corner and there's another couple more so delete them all and just move them back and as you can see what the document is obviously going to do here is to um, try and flatten that out you can see I've got a bit of a dent here it's not too brilliant um, but you can look at some of the controls we can alter the, the brightness here you can see you've got like a, um, a, a fade so we're going to try and um, aim to move things around it's a bit of a fiddle there's no sort of rhyme or reason to this there we go it's nice and black and white um, but the beauty about this program here we, is we can also um, annotate it. So what I'm going to do here is change the width of my pencil, change the colour um, on these various sliders here. You can see I'm moving, just moving stuff around. And when I'm happy with the colours, I can click OK. So I've chosen a red, fiddle with the brightness. And if you go, oh, no, you can't do that. If you click on the pencil now, um, you can now write and you can see how I'm annotating on top of the scanned document. So not only can we scan a handwritten document or any other document, doesn't matter, any text document, um, we can actually annotate over the top as well. And once again, of course, we can um, save that document as a new document. So I'm going to save it to my um, the application. And then once I've named it, give it a quick name, Now, once again, I can export that document. So I'll just run through this. This time I've signed into my Evernote account. So I'm going to log in. And we log straight into Evernote. And what it brings up now is all the names of all the notes and tags that I've set. So I can choose the actual notebook I want to put it into and choose the tags that I want to sort it by. So you just scroll through. I'm going to choose this one. And then when you're happy with that, you just select and click send and it's gone
brilliant application, great use for education.